I see. Also, I've always wondered, Tim, about gluten. Can you tell me what is gluten, why it's good to have it in flour? Sure. Uh, the flours that we use in the baking industry are, the term flour is actually defined as the flour that's milled from wheat. Uh, other type of flours, you really need to use a descriptor, call them rice flour, corn flour, things like that. But the word flour is meaning that it was milled from wheat. And wheat is really the cereal grain that has the highest amount of gluten-forming proteins. Um, rye has a little bit, but really wheat is, is, is full of gluten-forming proteins. The two proteins that are in wheat, uh, gliadin and glutenin, are the two protein components that give you this gluten structure. One of them has more of an elastic nature, the other one has an extensible nature. So when you take flour, you put it in, in a mixer, add water to it, what you do is you start to develop this gluten structure. Um, the gl gluten, the gladin, and proteins come together and give you this viscoelastic uh, dough. You have the ability to stretch it, but it also has a memory and it comes back into its shape. So wheat is unique in the fact that it's really the only major cereal grain that has gluten forming proteins. I see. Tim, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today and educating me about flowers and gluten. This is Tim Huff from General Mills. Tim, can you tell us your website? Yes, it's uh, www.gmflower.com. Tim, again, thank you very much. I wish you well. Thanks.